Hey everyone, welcome to Keto and Crime. This is a uh, video that I was not expecting to make and I'm a little sad that I am making it. Why? Because I am a huge fan of this man here, Chris Hogan. Also Dave Ramsey. I, well, I listen to his uh, their podcast daily while I work. Uh, just good inspirational stuff, even though I'm not a Christian, I'm not religious. Uh, they do, do go a little heavy on the on the you know conservative Christian values in my opinion but that stuff's not all bad so um huge fan just put it that way well today who chris is actually um chris hogan is actually one of my favorite because he focuses heavy on retirement and i got a lot of catch up to play with retirement so i listen a lot to him but um announced this week that he has been separated from the ramsey solutions family and the reason I'm covering this is because I think with the, the recent lawsuit that's been filed, this could potentially turn into a white collar scandal of sorts. Now let's break it down. Ramsey Solution is a debt, finance, personal wealth, financial counseling company that provides educational resources from free via a number of different uh shows uh podcasts such as well formerly chris hogan the dave ramsey show uh his daughter rachel cruz has one dr john delaney who is a phd psychotherapist has one about personal family relationships uh ken coleman show which is all about job search and career improvement they have that sort of thing they have a couple others that are kind of geared toward young people so uh, a lot of Ramsey's uh, personalities with a lot of different reach, and all that stuff's free, but they also have paid programs, they have their entree leadership, their live events, lots of stuff's also paid, I mean, that's how they make their money, nothing wrong with that, but um, they are biblically based, as I said before, when I say biblical, I mean conservative evangelical Christianity, they do not make any bones about that, that's where their stuff is based, well, Chris Hogan has recently uh, been separated from the uh, Ramsey Solutions business, uh, according to our local news station here in Nashville, Tennessee, WSMV. Um, no longer there. And it's a twofold thing. Uh, basically, uh, in 2018, uh, Chris Hogan's then wife, Melissa J. Hogan, who's also a very popular author in the mental health and in women's empowerment space, came forward and told uh, the leadership team at Ramsey Solutions that Chris had been unfaithful to her, even to the point he had been having an affair with a, another employee there. And so because they are Christian based and they are a private company, they are not publicly traded, so they can make up their own rules as long as they're not discriminatory and employees sign a waiver saying they understand it one of their things is no premarital or extramarital relations allowed that the company will take very stringent actions disciplinary actions if that happens now personally i don't think that's a good thing but uh, you know the, the employees sign a contract saying they understand that well evidently instead of separating him as they should have uh, to be fair across the board to all employees, they put he and his wife on a restoration plan, which include included intensive couples therapy. I'm only guessing it was probably with Dr. John Delaney. I'm, I, I don't know, but I'm just guessing because he is a psychotherapist they have on staff. <laughs> it would make sense. And as part of that, according to Melissa J. Hogan's uh, blog post, which you can find, just Google it, um, she kind of let loose that it was very intrusive that not only were they forced to go to kind of save face to make sure that they did stay together as a couple that they were also uh, required to provide the most intimate details of that counseling so Dave Ramsey knows what's going on in their home and in their bedroom let's just put it that way well it did not work they ended up separating and eventually divorcing and now Three years later, a, another employee, former employee, by the name of Caitlin O'Connor has filed a federal discrimination lawsuit against the Ramsey uh, company, 
stating that after four years of employment, she was terminated for becoming pregnant out of wedlock. As I said, they do not allow premarital sex, extramarital affair, you know, extramarital, I get. Premarital, how are they going to know? I mean, unless you're like her that gets pregnant and does the right thing by the Christian definition and keeps the baby, and then they separate her from the company without, you know, giving this single mother an opportunity now to provide for her baby. That's a little bit of hypocrisy right there, in my opinion. But also, if you don't get pregnant, how are they going to know? If I'm working there and I have sex out of wedlock, if I'm single and I have sex out of wedlock, they're never going to know. Keep your mouth shut, people. But anyway, be smart about it. Anyway. So, she was terminated. And she also alleges that eight other employees were also terminated. So, she's alleging discrimination based on the fact that he was a personality and therefore they tried to save face and did not treat them all the same. Now, what's your opinion on that? Well, I think it's dirty that they do treat people differently. I, but first of all, I think it's dirty that they have such stringent control over your life, personal life. But, you know, if you sign a contract agreeing to that, I mean, that's on you. That's Darwinism as it's at, at its finest. But uh, we also have to look at it from a real value. I mean, I don't know what these other nine employees, Miss O'Connor plus the other eight employees did, but I was assuming it's something lower level behind the scenes, you know, customer service rep, pro producer, videographer, any number of things, salesperson, any number of things. And so if you kind of look at, the, and I don't know what happened to those other eight employees, if they were all fired or they were just disciplined in some way, but, and I apologize, it's night here, so we got televisions going. But, I don't know what happened to those other eight employees. It doesn't specify just yet. But, um, I don't think the punishment was doled out equally. But because Chris Hogan, who is a best-selling author, a very, the number two rated show on the network, I'm sure he had a more higher dollar value than these other employees. And that's why he was treated differently. It happens all the time. So, that's what I'm going to say, but will a court of law see it that way? I don't know. But evidently, because of this lawsuit, they did go ahead to save face and separate Mr. Mr. Hogan, which I think may be a little too late. There's going to be a huge scandal about this. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know what I found out. I'll be interested to watch it because I think we're going to see a, a kind of a white collar scandal unfolding here. I still intend to watch Ramsey, the Ramsey Solutions personalities. I think they're great. They give very solid advice. I don't agree with the religious stance, but you know, there's pretty well solid advice that I agree with. So that's my take on it. I'll continue to report on this as the case and the scandal unfolds. I think this is very interesting. And uh, until next time, keto and crime.